What's going on guys? My name is Damian Lee and welcome back to the channel. Today I collected the very best posts from r slash oddly terrifying. It's time to get a little bit oddly terrified. A month ago I became friends with a crow. Today he brought me the skull of another crow. Oh, that's sick. You befriended a warrior. <laughs> He'll defend you in, in, in hard times and easy times. I think mean, this was a good ally to have. He brought you that and said, I did this for you. Say thank you. Thought I heard a noise coming from outside my window a few nights ago, but brushed it off. Noticed this this morning. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> There's nothing quite as terrifying as seeing the grip marks of someone trying to pry open the, the screen on your window to break and enter. But rest assured, they couldn't even get the break part down right. But I, would, I wouldn't qualify this as oddly terrifying. This is just flat out terrifying. This is bone chilling. <laughs> like... This doesn't quite fit the oddly part of the, the subreddit. This is just flat out terrifying. But what's not oddly terrifying is that this video is sponsored. Today's video is brought to you by the newest mobile game sweeping the market, Hyper Fever. Hyper Fever is a real-time card strategy MMO with so many features, you could swear that it's not a real game. Because it isn't. Today's video is actually sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, I've tricked you, I've deceived you, but you know, you know exactly what Raid Shadow Legends is. Raid is the very real free-to-play RPG with stunning graphics, immersive storylines, and over 700, count them, 700 champions for you to collect to build your dream team with. And with over 80 million players worldwide, you can battle other players or take on challenging bosses. But Raid isn't just for your phone. You can also play Raid Shadow Legends on your PC, which means you can join the battle in your room, in the living room, in the kitchen, or when you're outside on the go. I didn't have an example for that last one. I don't go out. Raid is currently celebrating the release of the first episode of their limited series, Raid, Call of the Arbiter. And they're adding the new characters you meet in the series as champions you can collect in game, including the fearsome Artak. He is an orc warlord, and he will be available for everyone just by logging into Raid for seven days between now and July 24th. If you've seen the show, you know exactly who Artak is, but I'm not dropping any spoilers here. With all this exciting content and even more coming to Raid, now is the perfect time to play. New players can use my link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen to get this starter pack with all of these goodies. And hey, once you're in, come find me. Here's my username. Thank you to Raid for sponsoring today's video. Blows my mind how they don't even disturb the surface of the water. Oh my God. They're just, it, it's quick, it's seamless. I mean, they have the benefit of being water dwelling creatures, so I would assume that's why they're not even disturbing the surface. They don't need to, they're honed warriors of the, of the waves. They got it down pat. Here's how a train conductor's view looks at night. No, no, I'm all right. Not my kind of career. This is ex <laughs> This looks like a horror game POV. This, <laughs> This is just the Five Nights at Freddy's 3, like, security office. I expect to see Freddy Fazbear just walk across the tracks or something. A rare view of a tornado formation. Oh, boy. I've never seen it form before. That's actually... Well, you know, I, I haven't lived in an area where tornadoes are even particularly common. Oh! Whoa! Dude! It's gotta be crazy being that close to the whole, to the tornado, you know what I mean? It's like you pissed off a god. Balsamic vinegar is not an appropriate substitute for poached eggs if you're out of white vinegar. It's just got an, it's just got a little red hue to it. There's nothing wrong with that. That does look mighty uncomfortable to eat though. That changes the, the whole, the whole vibe of your meal for sure. Try placing that down for a first date. Poached eggs and balsamic vinegar. And for you, my dear, the embryonic sacs I've found on an alien planet. Oh, thanks. It's important to watch your step in Florida. I'm qualified to talk about this. That is very real, very scary, but it's just a swamp puppy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If you got your swamp stompers out and free, the dogs are barking, he's not gonna bother you, he doesn't care. He's just hanging out. But if you spot him, he'll run away. Constant game of hide and seek with the swamp puppies. Bed bugs reacting to human body heat. I can hardly see them. Is there anything 
Okay, so you're gonna place a finger down right there. Don't you, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, no. And it's so subtle. He's not even playing, he's not placing his finger down for a long time at all. It's in the crack of the chair. How are bed bugs getting in the crack of the chair? That's not even a bed. Well, you know, that's awesome. Thanks for the nightmares. That's great. I'm gonna go burn my bed and sleep on the floor. Arm caked with wood dust, but looks disturbing. I think it looks kind of cool if you ask me. That looks pretty sick. It's like you're chipping out of your outer shell. You're shedding. Warning. This machine does not know the difference between corrugated paper and flesh, nor does it care. Well, it sounds to me like you need to teach that machine a, a course in sensitivity training, huh? This is a dumb joke. <laughs> Don't stick your hands in machines. It's a very easy lesson to learn. Oh my God. Oh! Just get inside. She's asking for help. Grab her hand. Why? What do you mean? What are you doing? You can just walk forward. Is this a moving platform? In the video, I can't tell if it's moving or not. I can't tell if it's just the snowstorm is so intense or if that's like a train cart and they're moving. I can't tell, but help her out. She's grabbing, she's reaching out for help. She's doing all her own stunts right now and you're just sitting there filming. My freshman year of college, I took this astronomy class and I yeah. sat next to this girl that I thought was like really cool. And she would always show me pictures of her pet snake. And sometimes she would have to go to the pet store because she okay. had to buy mice for her snake to eat so of course. one day me and her were hanging out with her roommates and i asked my friend like hey can i see your snake and we were in the kitchen with her roommates and they were like what snake and i was like the snake that we've gone to the pet store to buy mice for as soon as i said the word mice literally the whole entire vibe they didn't really know shifted and they I was didn't like, know like what's going on and then they all started kind of trying to explain the same thing oh like, boy what they said was that they'd been getting together for a roommate bonding night where they were what mice together oh uh, yeah it's just just bonding what <laughs> I want to know how they came to that conclusion sitting together in their in their you know flat or their dorm where they're like listen everyone we're all friends right i'm kind of thinking we need to take it to the next level oh you know what are you thinking should we all like go to you know do like a activity together like some sort of like break room experience where we can all bond no nah. no nah, i got a better idea let's fucking eat mice that we buy from the pet store together <laughs> If you've ever need a convincing argument that lizard people are real and live among us, it is this TikTok right here. <laughs> this is the most damning piece of evidence. Fun biology fact. Toddler skulls are full of teeth. Waiting. Watching. Oh, oh great. Horrible, horrifying. No thanks, I'm good. Would you drive through this? Nope, nope. Someone's getting murdered in there. Nah, nope, nope, I'm good, I'm good. The, the wind ambiance, I can handle, you know, put on some tunes, ignore it. The thunder and lightning, no, someone's dying in those in, in that area. And I will not be, I will not be an accessory to murder. No, thank you. The sky in my town while our surrounding area burns out of control. Yeah, but you taking that picture in front of the superstore makes it look like the superstore has been condemned. Like by God and Jesus. <laughs> The red sky around the superstore means the savings were not sufficient. Hell be upon ye. Open body of water, I'm already not happy about it. No thank you. What is that? What is that? What the f- Huh? What was that? Why did he just experience a quick time event? What the fuck just happened? I'm uh, reading in the comments that this was uh, an area that looks consistent with Florida. Yep, cool. And it was likely manatees that were spooked. I'm scared. You think the manatees are scared? I'm fucking scared. Nope, it's not a skull. It's a fly infected by cordyceps fungus. Bro, listen, I know, I know that the cordyceps is like a real thing, but don't show me a fly clicker, please. I don't, I don't need to see any of that. Oh, look at this up close photo of a jumping spider on a rose petal. But look at its eyes, staring 
watching. No thanks. I didn't need to know that it was like staring at me with that much intensity to be so tiny and cute. This is Jocelyn Wildenstein, the wealthy socialite nicknamed Bride of Wildenstein and Catwoman because of her extreme plastic surgery. Oh my God. You know who she kind of looks like? I don't know if you guys are familiar with this series, but there was a TV show on sci-fi called Channel Zero. Uh, she looks like a character in the last season, Dream Door. Ah, I don't like that. That's uncanny. Not a fan. 19 year old cat demands the soul of a dam to feed on every night. And it deserves it because it's a good boy, a little good little kitty cat. This man who was observed on a family's ring camera licking a doorbell for three hours. Strange on their security camera. They say a man spent three hours. What the fuck? Why are you staring at me while you do that? Are you demonstrating something? Are you advertising services? <laughs> I think he woefully, terribly misinterpreted the phrase ringing the devil's doorbell. Cause that's not, that's not what that meant. They didn't mean to go find a doorbell and violate it. So this is a, a, a frailed shark. These things are 80 million years old or like more than that. So these things were with the dinosaurs. What a freaky looking thing, dude. Wow. I don't even feel comfortable calling that a shark. It, 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 it's a frilled monstrosity. I do think uh, the story with this though, cause this, this looks like shallow water. These things live in like the depths. They're down, they're way down below at where they should be to be perfectly honest. Uh, but as they get older and they're like, yeah, it's my time. They go up to the surface to terrify passerby just for one last, you know, one last thrill. <laughs> sea creatures are fucking terrifying. Oh, that is no thanks. I would react the same way. Oh, dude. I, I, I'm pretty sure that is either someone being stupid or is one of those live streams where people just for God knows why just eats live animals on stream. The internet's a weird place. It's a very strange place. The Dracula parrot. That is the coolest looking parrot I have ever seen. That is a hardcore parrot. That is sick. Why is this an oddly terrifying? This rules. Submerged church in a toxic lake in Romania. Whoa, what? This is some nutty earth level design. This looks crazy. This has major from software vibes. A, a boss would spawn here for sure. Oh boy. Wow. Look at this. I think this is bamboo and <laughs> it is ruined. Whatever this is, a little structure. I mean, it's cool, it's sprouting. Sucks that it happens to be in your crib. Sorry about that. But maybe you should just enjoy the nature and, and take appreciation in the little things. Wow. Nope, nope, stop. I didn't mean to offend. Ha Whoa, its soul is damned. There is not there is not a soul in that thing. That is a demon, a devil. What the fuck, dude? Each cul-de-sac is the. It's just it, the, the, who asset flipped this cul-de-sac? It reminds me of that um the Jesse Eisenberg movie about a, a cul-de-sac like that. I'll put the the picture of the the cover up on on screen. It reminds me of that. Just freaky stuff, man. Things that feel too uniform like that. Heebie-jeebies. My light emits a ghost current, even though it's off. Damn, so your ceiling titties got some vascularity? That's crazy. That's how I choose to describe that. <laughs> and that's gonna be all for today's video, but I hope you enjoyed. Thank you to my channel members, gonna be down below right here. Of course, if you wanna become a channel member, you can always click the join button and subscribe for more content just like this. But until next time, I'll be seeing ya.